Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a face into simple black and white art and create a design to place the art into. Create a new document by going to File and New. This is the New Document window in CC 2017. Whatever version you're using, in the Width and Height fields, type in 1250 pixels each, and for the resolution, type in 150 pixels per inch. Then click Create or OK. Next, we'll add guidelines that will show the exact center of our document. If you're using version CC or later, go to View and New Guide Layout. If you're using an earlier version than CC, I'll show you a workaround in a moment. Type in 2 in the number fields for both columns and rows. If you're using a version earlier than CC, go to View and New Guide. Whatever orientation is ticked, type in 50%. Then go back to View and New Guide. This time, tick the other orientation and again type in 50%. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Elliptical Marquee tool and go to the center of the guidelines. Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circular selection approximately this size. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 30 pixels, the color black, and the location inside. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Temporarily hide the background. Click the FX icon and click Stroke. Make the size 20 pixels and the position outside. The color is white. If it isn't white, just click the color box and pick white. Make the background layer visible again. We'll make a new layer below the active layer by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. Open your rectangular marquee tool. To drag out a square selection from the center, click your mouse or pen and don't release and press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag your cursor out to the inside edge of your circle. We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is your foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it. Open back your elliptical marquee tool and drag out a circular selection to the white area between the solid black circle and the black ring. Press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the area inside the selection. Then deselect it. Make the circle layer active. We'll place our text above it. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a font. I'm using Glazer Becker Stencil. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link in my video's description or project files below. I'll make its size approximately 123 points for now. Sharp and Center Alignment. The color is black. Click on your document and type out your text. To finesse its size and to reposition it, click your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Shift 
as you drag it in or out until your text is flush with both sides of the square shape above it. To slide your text up or down, press the up or down arrow key on your keyboard. Then press Enter or Return. To slide your entire graphic up, Shift-click the bottom shape to make all your graphic layers active and press the up arrow on your keyboard. We're going to make a new layer below the bottom shape. Click the bottom shape to make just that layer active and Control-click or Command-click the new layer icon. Open your rectangular marquee tool again and go to the center. Click and don't release as you press and hold Alt or Option and drag a rectangular selection around your elements approximately this much. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 20 pixels, the color black, and the location inside. Then deselect it. If you want to resize it and or extend the top or bottom edge, open your Transform tool, go to a corner, and drag it out or in. I'd like to extend the bottom edge, so I'll go to the bottom middle anchor point of the Transform and drag it down. Then I'll press Enter or Return. We're ready to begin the steps in creating your portrait into the design. Go to the top of your Layers panel and make the top layer active. We'll place our portrait layer above it. Open a photo of a face that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to separate your subject from its background by making a selection around your subject. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, Drag it over your subject to select it. To remove areas outside your subject, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To check your selection, press Q on your keyboard to see it as a quick mask. If it looks good to you, press Q again to revert it back into a selection. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. Make a new layer below the active layer and fill it with white by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Delete. This fills it with your background color. We'll convert the two layers into one smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as allowing us to replace our subject with another face without having to redo all the effects. Shift-click the top layer to make it active as well and click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel. Click Convert to Smart Object. To place the subject into our design, press V to open your Move tool and drag the subject onto the tab of your design document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. We want to place our subject inside the circle and hide the areas of our subject outside the circle. To do this, control click or command click the ring to make a selection of its shape. Press Q to make it into a quick mask. We'll delete the area of the quick mask outside the ring. Open your paint bucket tool and click anywhere outside the ring. Press Q again to revert the quick mask back into a selection. Alt click or Option click the layer mask icon to create an inverted layer mask of the selection next to your subject. Click the chain link between the layer and the layer mask to unlink them. Doing this allows us to resize and or reposition either of them independently of the other. Make your subject active and open your Transform tool. Center the face inside the circle and resize it so most of the face is showing. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. I'll keep its default level of 128 and click OK or press Enter or Return.
go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 4 pixels. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Cutout. Make the number of levels 2. I'll make the Edge Simplicity 5, but feel free to experiment with this amount. Make the Edge Fidelity 1 and click OK. If you look closely at your portrait, it may have shapes that are dark gray. To make it completely black, go back to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. Then click OK. Lastly, we'll create a white ring around the portrait. Click the FX icon and click Stroke. The color is white, the size is 20 pixels, and the position is inside. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.